That afternoon, a message came from the station by the waterfall. One of Scarlowe's coaches has come off the rails. Please send some workmen to put it right. Duncan was in steam, so he had to go. All this extra work, he grumbled. It wears an engine out. Rubbish, said his driver. Come on. The derailed coach was in the middle of his train, so Scarlowe had gone on to the top station with the front coaches. Duncan left the workmen and brought the passengers in the rear coaches home. He sulked all the way. He arrived back just in time for his own four o'clock train. I get no rest, I get no rest, he complained. He was sulky and short of steam. So his driver waited a few minutes in the hope of raising more. But Duncan wouldn't try. Oh, he can't keep the passengers waiting any longer, his driver said at last. You always think about passengers, muttered Duncan crossly. Never about me. I'm never even polished. I'm overworked and I won't stand it. He grumbled away, brooding over his wrongs. Duncan made heavy weather of the journey, but at last they reached the viaduct. This is long, high and narrow. No one can walk on it when a train is there. Come on, Duncan, said his driver. One more effort and you'll have a rest and a drink in the station. Keep your old station, said Duncan rudely. I am staying here. He did too. He stopped his train right on the viaduct and nothing his driver or farman could do would make him move another yard. 